Alright, so I'm going to show you a, de a deck. There's a deck right here. I'm going to show you a trick with this deck of cards. And then I'm going to teach you how to do it. This is so easy. So, if you want to go into a party and impress your friends and let them shuffle the cards and touch the cards and you never touch the cards, this is going to be one of those tricks. Check this out. So, we're going to count 25 cards one by one face up. I'm going to show you what it looks like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 22, 23, 24, 25. Okay. 25 cards. And I'm going to place some, the best place I can place them so you can see them. Now, um, let's put them right there. Now, uh, remember, the spectator would be touching the cards at this point. Um, we're going to put one face up. Okay, so a jack technically doesn't have a number, so we're going to get rid of it and put it right here. A seven does. So, what you can do with the seven is you're going to go, seven plus what makes ten is what you're going to ask. One, two, three, three cards will make ten there. Alright, then turn another one. Six plus what makes ten? Four. One, two, three, four. Awesome. And we'll put it right there. Okay. You're going to deal up another one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Because that makes ten. Okay. Put, have them put all the cards back. Now remember, you're not touching the cards. This is just an example. I'm going to show you exactly how to do this. You're going to ask them seven plus six plus two makes what? And you know, they're going to answer your question. Two plus six is eight, and eight plus seven is fifteen. So, what's going to happen is... You're going to ask them to take the stack of cards where they put all the rest of the cards and uh, you're going to tell them, let's go a card higher. The 16th card in this pack is going to be the 5 of diamonds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Now I'm going to stop right here because I said the 16th card was going to be the 5 of diamonds. Well, let me show you what the 16th card is. It is indeed the Five of Diamonds. Now I'm going to teach you how to do that. It's really simple. It's really easy. But I think it's a powerful trick that leaves people just floored every time I do it at, at parties and stuff. It's so easy. You can grab any deck of cards and it, it just looks incredible. So they can shuffle the cards. They can do whatever. They're going to touch them. So here's what, how it works. You're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I'm going to stop at the seventh card. It's the nine of clubs. You want to memorize the seventh card. The seventh card is the nine of clubs. Keep that in your head. So remember the nine of clubs is the seventh card. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five. 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. You put all 25 cards to the side. They do. You never touch a card. Now, they're going to flip a card up. Five plus what makes ten. So this is essentially, it's almost like card counting, but it's a little, a little bit different. Two, three, four, five. That makes ten. Now, remember the seventh card was the nine of clubs. So, what happens is, if you, what if you hit a face card? Do you see what I did earlier? I put it to the side and put it on top. So when you hit that face card, a face card technically doesn't, have a number unless you're playing blackjack essentially it's just a jack or a queen or a king they don't have numbers neither does the ace unless you're playing blackjack like I said they'll have a number so three plus what makes ten? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. boom okay now two one two three four five six seven eight now this stack that they have is gonna go on top of everything so now you're going to ask them 2 plus 3 plus 5 makes what? That makes 10. But you're going to go a card higher. And the reason for that is if you go here, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. You're odd. So there's one card more over the number. So what happens here is there's that one card more. So 2 plus 3 makes 5 and 5 plus 5 makes 10. 
So you're going to say, let's go a card higher. Now this works out cooler, I think, than being at the exact number because if you're at the exact number, it looks cool, but I think it really astonishes them when it's not, when it's one card higher and you say it's one card higher. So, let's try this. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. No, oh, sorry. <laughs> ten. Okay, so ten. We're at the four of clubs. We go to the eleventh card. Now, what I always have people do, and this is this this creates more of an astonishment, is they stop and they put the, the other card face down. They put the eleventh card face down. Now, this creates that suspense factor, you know, people are waiting for that moment. So here's here's the, the moment that gets them. Just have them turn it over. And when it's that nine of clubs, boom, it's gonna pack a punch. And the reason it's gonna pack even more of a punch and look really cool is because, well, you never touch the cards. So it's going to just leave people wondering, how the hell did this nine of clubs become over it if I went too fast? Um, it's awesome just to, uh, this trick, it's so easy to do. There's no sleight of hand involved. So it's easy for you guys to learn. It's easy for you guys to learn a very simple yet effective trick. It's cool to use at parties. I've used it at tons of parties with friends decks of cards and you know it's one of those things like if when I'm doing magic people always say oh you're probably using a trick deck. I say no go grab me another deck and I'll show you something. So that's one of those things I use and the reason I use it is because it's just so powerful. It's it's an easy trick but it's powerful. Um, thanks for checking out this video. Hope you guys like it. Uh, subscribe to my channel. You might see more of these simple little tricks easy for you to use. Uh, go back through the video if you want to go over the stuff. Like I said, just memorize the seventh card. Let's go over that. Memorize that seventh card. And uh, remember, there's always going to be one card above it. So it's going to always be odd in that stack. Remember that face cards don't have numbers to them. So don't use the face cards. Have them put them back in that stack. And then remember that the piles need to add up to ten. Thank you guys for checking it out.